Hello. For this video, I'm going to show you another use of using one inch or less strips of paper. And this is a good one for using up your white cardstock too, if you've got extra strips of white. Okay, these are all, I think they're one inch, maybe a little bit less. Yeah, it's a wee bit, they're about one inch wide by five and a quarter inches long. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I've got four of them. And I'm going to line them up like so. And I've got some masking tape. And I'm just going to lay it across the top there. And I've got another piece of masking tape. This is a newer piece, so I need to put it on my pants and de-stick it a little bit. Okay, there. Make sure these are all together. Perfect that across the bottom. All right. Very good. Okay. So next thing I did was I just took a punch. I, I had a leaf stamp uh, punch rather sitting on my desk. So I just took a little piece of cardstock, punched out the leaf, and I'm going to use this as a, <clears throat> excuse me, as a stencil. I pulled out a multicolored ink pad. So, and I'm going to put these little rubber tips on my fingers so they don't get dirty and I need let's see green blue orange red orange yellow I don't think I have a yellow one nope okay or is that one yellow that one's a yellow one okay all righty so so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create a background with these taped together. So let's see, let's, let's start it down here and then we'll kind of make it go up that way. And I'm just going to use one color at a time and go ahead and dunk it in here and go ahead and Brush that in. There. Did it get inside the little stem? Maybe. Oh, yes, it did. Okay, good. All right. So there's that one. Woohoo! Pretty. Let's wipe that off on that paper. Wipe it off on my wipey right there. Okay. And then I think I want to overlap just a little bit there then let's do the orange Step. All right, and overlap that just a bit, and we'll do the green. Ooh, that green is very vibrant. I haven't used this ink pad in a while, so it's just been sitting up there on my shelf. Nice. And next color is getting some fiber on there from that. Next color is blue.
that's really pretty. Very nice. Okay. Now, I think I'm going to go backwards with the colors. So I think I'm going to do green again. So my husband and I just got back from vacation with our two daughters and two of our three grandchildren. And my one, my older daughter's husband. And we went to our timeshare in, in the Massanut Mountains in Virginia. It's always so beautiful there. Yep. It's always so, so fun to go and see the changes. Okay, so now we got to do red. And we got to do lots of fun things together. And we love to go to the Mennonite shops and the little country stores that they have. They have the neatest stuff in there. Oh gosh, and I was cracking up. I was taking pictures of weird stuff that I would see. <laughs> kids were all laughing because I just saw so many weird things in there this time. Usually it's not, it's not so weird, but it's just fun to go through because they have a lot of things that I grew up with. Like, I don't know, like just um, the little push toys and pull toys and the little wizard things that you hold on to the, it's like a little teeny thing like this. Like there's just a tip and then it's a thing about this size and you take it and you, and, and it's a plastic or metal piece rather, and you just go like this and it goes <laughs> when you go in a circle. I actually saw those there. I don't know what they're called. We used to call them whizzers because they just made that funny whizzy sound. But uh, they had those and then I was cracking up because something, one of the funniest things that I saw was um, turkey feet <laughs> bookends. <laughs> turkey feet bookends. Oh my goodness. I was laughing so hard. They were just the funniest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> so of course I had to take pictures and I was just laughing and laughing and laughing and having so much fun and the kids all saw them and went oh gosh and of course the girls saw them and went mom's so going to take a picture of that and they were right I did that was so funny oh this is coming up pretty very nice alrighty and last but not least the yellow Yellow, yellow, yellow. There. We love eating there. They always have such yummy food. And we got to go to Hank's Barbecue again. That was so amazing. Yum. And we get our beef sticks. I like to buy the beef sticks from the little country store, the Mennonite store, and they're always so yummy. Alrighty, that came out pretty. I like the way that looks. Very nice. Alright, so now what I think I'm going to do is, rather than waste the ink that's still left on these, I think I'm just going to go ahead and go around and wipe them off. and see how much there is on there. That's a lot. That's a whole lot. All righty. That was good. All righty, and the next color. That cleaned up pretty darn good. And the next one. That's pretty. And we can do the green and blue over here. Alrighty. Good use of the the colors, that's for sure.
That's pretty. Okay, now let's peel this up. See if we can get some more of that blue on there. It's going to show kind of funky because that tape was there, but that's okay. If I have to, I can just trim the tip the top and bottom portions off. Alrighty, and then we can get some more green on there. Yeah, I'm just gonna have to trim that, but that's okay. I don't mind doing that. That looks really pretty. Very nice. Alrighty, let's peel this one off. Nice. Alrighty, these ones in the garbage. That looks so pretty. I like it. Nice, 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 nice. Okay, so now what I wanna do is trim that. Let's put these back away. Put these in here. And there, oops, that's gonna go on its side. There, put these right away. Whoops, got the little fingertips. Helps put those away too. All right. Those came out pretty. All right, so now I just need to put these together and then trim off the two ends. So I'm gonna have to trim that at five. Let's see. Looks like a little bit more than five inches. dashes that that'll work. Five plus two little dashes. That works. Whoops, I almost chopped that one too. All right. Five plus two dashes. That's done. And five plus two dashes. One, two. Yep. All right. Very good. Then we need to turn it around the other way and we need to do... How long this side? Let's see. I'm gonna take off about that much. So that's at number six up there. All right. So number six. I'm looking at this ruler here, the six centimeters. All righty. Number six. Number six. Close enough. There. All right. Now, we can throw those little bits away. That looks really pretty. I like the way that came out. All right. So now we just need a card. And I've got some already. So we can go ahead and fold that over. Them right together or I can raise them up or I can raise up and down and up and down that looks really pretty I like that that's nice okay now I'm kind of thinking hmm I think I want to trim that just a wee bit more so I want to trim off this other one make this one three quarters of an inch wide instead, because that'll take some of that away. Alrighty, and then I can do that with this one. Make this one three quarters of an inch. Okay, and that way, that'll give me a little bit more room on either side. Yep, there, so it gives me a better border, more even border around. And now, I know I've got some this, yes, this was the blue paper. All right, let's use this. Okay, so I'm going to need to cut this. Let's see. Where's my ruler? Let's figure this one out. I know it was five and a quarter, but 
I need to see how wide this is now. Let's see. And the length also. So this is oops, the other side, Barbara. Okay, so it's so I need it about three, probably three and three quarters. All right, where's my pencil? So three and three quarters by, how long is this now? Let's see, four and a half. So about, about maybe five, four and two, three, four, five, six, seven eighths, four and seven eighths. Let's do that. Okay, so let's cut this, that size, three and three quarters by, oops, I forgot, this is too big, I need to fold this in half, this is just construction paper, but I like to use construction paper as layers, because it's lighter weight than cardstock, so it's, you can use more of it without the weight, which is what I'm going for. All right, so three and three quarters. Three and three quarters right there. By four and seven eighths. Four and seven eighths. So that's right there. That should do it if I measured it correctly. All righty. Ooh, that's pretty. Yep, I did. I did a good job. That's going to be so pretty. All right. Now, the other thing I want to do is I want to get my folder. So, let me look for that. Is that the beefy one? Yep, that's the beefy one. Just, just these. There, right there. Okay. This will work. Okay. There's a leaf branch here, and I want to put these in there and run this through. Very good idea. All right, so that's closed on it. All right, let's get this machine over here and run this through. Oops, that was not working very good. Alrighty. Good. Perfect. Alrighty, so let's put this back. background that's cool okay so now let's go ahead and glue these down I've got my glue stick here so I may as well go ahead and go for it leave a nice little border there glue on there. <laughs> I'm just going to kiss them right up against each other. Because I can. There and then this one. Is that it? Yep. but not least this one. I really enjoy going on vacation with the kids. We always have such a nice time. Yep. 
Yep, no matter what's going on in the world, we can always have a nice time when we're together. So now I'm going to trim this down a little bit more. There. Alrighty. And now I'm going to go ahead and I think I might want to. Do I want to 3D that up? Yeah, why not? Let's 3D that up. Good idea. Off. If I use the same thing each time, it's so much easier. <laughs> See how quick, whoops, if I'm flinging the papers, that's okay. <laughs> yeah, all right. That came out pretty. I definitely like that. Very nice. All righty. Turn it over and press it down. That came out pretty. What do you think? Isn't that neat? I like that. Very nice. Alrighty. So what do you think of that? Do you like that idea? So if you like this idea, please give me a thumbs up. And until we meet again, happy crafting. Bye-bye.